Hi everyone. Brain fog is a really huge issue for a lot of my patients. And let's go over what brain fog actually is and what causes it and what can be done about it. So I would say if you've ever had a flu, you've probably experienced brain fog. It's where you are fatigued, but you also just can't think clearly. And sometimes your head hurts a little bit, but you just, you really cannot kind of string your thoughts logically together and everything feels maybe a little bit fuzzy. You may feel a little disconnected and not fully present. Well, this is a common complaint that a lot of my patients have. And the reason why you experience it when you have the flu is because the information molecules that govern an immune response can lead to inflammation in the brain and body. And when you have inflammation in the brain, you can experience the symptoms of brain fog. You may even find that your vision isn't as clear and your senses are a little bit off. Sometimes people are more sensitive to light, more sensitive to sound and more irritated by stimuli. Being around people, being in noisy spaces can be very difficult. So generally speaking, these, this, this kind of set of symptoms is caused by an underlying infection. And sometimes it's more than one. You know, some, some of my patients will have, let's say, tick-borne disease with Lyme and some of the co-infections like Borrelia, Bartonella and Babesia. And then the stress of having those infections can cause viruses that were previously dormant to reactivate. And, and the immune system's response to all those things can lead to some inflammation in the brain. Other times people can experience it with um, brain trauma. So traumatic brain injury can actually lead to brain inflammation. And it's, it can persist long after the trauma um, because of glutamate release and the kind of cascade of, of chemicals that happen in response to that. So brain trauma is another underpinning and rarely, but sometimes toxins. So sometimes people could be exposed to mycotoxins from mold, and that can create a lot of brain fog and inflammation or too much, too many heavy metals like mercury. And that eventually can lead to brain fog and inflammation in the brain. So it's important to see an integrative doctor who is skilled at figuring out these underlying causes and treating them effectively. And in rare cases, this is going to just sound so Western, but in rare cases, sometimes taking ibuprofen or aspirin can calm the inflammation enough to just give someone some mental clarity again. Um, other things like activated charcoal can be helpful. And then there is detox support, uh, herbs. So there's an herb called Berber that um, usually comes in a tincture. And I'll tell my patients that they can take 10 drops in water multiple times during the day if they ever need to for very severe brain fog. But tr to truly eradicate brain fog, you have to get to the root of what's causing it. And it's possible to do that.